In the preceding lessons, we discussed the eigenvalue problem and details on how to understand the significance of different natural frequencies via the participation factors and effective mass. In this current lesson, we'll explore two topics, free-free modal and pre-stress modal. For the first topic on free-free modal, let's consider two systems, a light aircraft flying and a skyscraper. If an engineer plans to perform a modal analysis of these two structures, what would be the biggest difference despite the geometry and material differences? Think about the boundary conditions of the structure. The light aircraft is flying through the air. It's free of any hard boundary conditions, meaning it's not held anywhere. But the skyscraper is fixed to the ground at its base. If we perform modal analysis for a structure without boundary conditions, it's called free-free modal analysis. Free-free signifies the structure is free of loads and free of boundary conditions, and this type can be common for planes, ships, sporting goods like balls, and even beyond. This means that the structure is free to have rigid movement in the six degrees of freedom in three-dimensional space, which are shown here. For a free-free modal analysis, theoretically, the first six natural frequencies will be zero. Zero natural frequencies mean that the structure can have rigid body motion without any excitation. This is expected as there are no boundary conditions. Solving the free-free modal analysis numerically, for example, using the finite element method, you might find the first six natural frequencies are not absolute zero, but they'll be numbers close to zero. In this example, our first six modes are zero or close to zero and the seventh mode is the first flexible mode, which is non-zero. Keep in mind that there will be six free modes for every free body. If we built our light aircraft model and we did not attach the two wings to the fuselage and then ran the modal analysis, we would actually have six times three or 18 rigid body modes, six for each part. So sometimes modal analysis is used to check if parts of our model are properly connected. Let's move on now to our other topic we wish to cover, and that is pre-stress modal. In industry and in our lives, many structures are designed to work under stress. When performing modal analysis to such structures, the pre-stress effect must be considered because the stress state changes the natural frequencies of the structure. Guitar strings are pre-stressed via tensioning of the strings using the tuning knobs. If you tighten the string, the natural frequency or note of the string will go up. If you loosen the string, the natural frequency will go down. The same for other stringed instruments. The concrete and beam decks of bridges often use post-tensioning to stiffen and strengthen the bridge. Cables within the structure are tightened after the cure of the concrete. Also, the cables on this cable stay bridge are tensioned with stress to help distribute the load more evenly. By pre-stressing these structures, we are also changing their natural frequencies. A wind turbine spinning will have centrifugal forces that induce stresses which effectively change the natural frequencies of the blades. How is the pre-stress included into the modal analysis? First, a static analysis is performed to find the stress state of the structure. The stress stiffness matrix is then derived from the structural analysis. The pre-stress state changes the structural stiffness by adding that stress stiffness matrix S to the original structural stiffness K to get a new total stiffness which is K plus S. This new total stiffness is used in the eigenvalue problem to solve for the natural frequencies and modes which now include the pre-stress effects. Let's calculate the natural frequencies of a guitar string to see how pre-stress affects the system. A displacement is applied on the ends of the strings to put the strings in tension. The natural frequency of the strings are drastically increased because of this pre-stress effect. Usually, pre-stressing in tension causes natural frequencies to increase. A compressive state causes the natural frequencies to decrease. 